medical relief from Omaha will soon be on its way to West Africa. Tomorrow morning, CHI Health will pack a semi full of hospital equipment to be shipped to Liberia. Rebecca Ray has the story new at 10 tonight. In countries where running water is rare and electricity is non-existent, the simplest supplies make the biggest impact. Things like this are just basic and we think maybe it's not much to have a mask or have gloves or have goggles, but that's life and death over there. Hundreds of thousands of pandemic supplies are packed up and ready to be shipped to Liberia. Pallets of life-saving equipment donated through Creighton University Medical Center, Bergen Mercy and other area hospitals. Medical supplies are uh, limited in West Africa, as well as the fact that these supplies are required to uh, help protect the health care workers who are caring for these uh, patients that have Ebola. During the H1N1 outbreaks in 2007, CUMC stocked respirator masks, gloves, and eye goggles. Since then, most have gone unused. They were in a storeroom being held in case they were needed. At this point in time, it appears that they have a greater need in West Africa than we do here. CHI Health has a partnership with missions in Africa. Along with protective gear, used hospital beds and operating tables will be sent to Liberia. We try to really be aware of what's the most efficient use of our resources. Obviously, things like 58,000 respirators can best be used in a place far away where they don't have any access to anything like this. Rebecca Ray, KMTV Action 3 News. CHI Health says the shipment will not affect hospital supplies locally. The hospital typically sends four semi-loads of medical equipment per year to Africa.